Hello everyone, it's Patrick, and I hope you're doing well and having a great day. Today we'll be looking at Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. While you turn there in your Bible, I'll give a brief introduction to the author and his audience. The Apostle Paul was formerly a Pharisee named Saul, the Jewish religious leader of that day. He even called himself the Pharisee of Pharisees, being able to trace his bloodline all the way back to the original 12 tribes of Israel and had every part of the law memorized and kept. Paul was also someone who hated the early church. He arrested and oversaw the killing of hundreds of Christians. But on the road to Damascus, Jesus revealed himself to him and he was forever changed. He went on to write 13 of the 27 New Testament books. I'll give a few thoughts on Paul later. Next, the audience were the people of Ephesus. Ephesus was a center of trade in the ancient world, and Paul spent three years growing a church there. Throughout this letter, he focuses on the unity in Christ, faith, and God's love, among other things. Knowing all this, I think we're ready to begin. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That sums up Christianity in two sentences. It is that simple, and it's so simple, in fact, that many find it hard to believe. God saved us even when we didn't deserve it and when we could not earn it. That's grace. All we have to do is realize it and completely believe it. That's faith. What this does is very freeing. It makes us all equal. No one in the sight of God is better or worse than anyone else. He values you just as highly as he does me, just as much as he did the Apostle Paul. Paul had every right to boast, his heritage, his job, his perfect and spotless life. But that's not what Jesus died for. He died for his creation salvation. He gifted us with perfect love, awesome grace, and eternal life. Our job is now to show these qualities in a world that's lost, scared, and without hope. I'm going to take this now to a more personal level and focus on myself. I have messed up a lot. I've sinned more times than I would care to count. I've lied, I've gotten angry at everyone, even God, and I've faltered in my faith. Through all this, God still loves me and Jesus still died for me, just like he did for you. If God wanted perfection, count me out. But he doesn't. In choir, we sing a song called Amazing Love, Amazing Grace. I'll state the chorus because it sums up my thoughts more perfectly and more concisely than I could ever say. Amazing love, amazing grace, flow from the cross with power to save. There by faith all my sin was washed away. I stand in awe that my God would reach down in mercy and pour out his blood. And that's what amazing grace is. God will not stop loving you, no matter your past, present, or future. All we have to do is believe in him and show that love to others. Have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. Thank you for your time, and God bless.